In today's video, guys, can we take revenge on the darn Seleucid fools in the north that have brought our wrath with their great victory last episode? whilst also pushing back the darn forces of Syracuse that are constantly awaiting our assault. So let's see, guys. Let's see. Hi, guys. Just a quick note on the video. This was meant to be the penultimate episode of the campaign. However, I didn't manage to get time with the update coming out uh, to record episode 35 before the update came out. So this is the final episode of the campaign. However, I think we have done a fantastic job becoming the hegemon of Greece. Those early episodes against Macedon were truly, truly brutal. And then we've had some pretty fun wars down in the Peloponnese and against the Thracian tribes as well. So overall, I think it's been a really fun campaign. And if you like and subscribe for this video, brand new campaigns are coming very soon on the brand new update. So stay tuned for them. I'll see you there, guys. Hi, guys. Oh, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Epirus campaign, the penultimate episode. Last time, we made some good progress in the north, as you can see, but we also did get absolutely ruined by Alexander over here. I guess just generals named Alexander are pretty good in general, but uh, yeah, we just couldn't withstand the flanking that they were doing, especially once Iphestionas had died. We've also kept on pushing against the Syracusans. We haven't really had a proper battle against them yet, but that's going to change in a second, guys. I have done all the building in between episodes, and we are building pretty much everywhere which is very nice you know um some of you may wonder why i do the building at the end i like to do these episodes like we would be continuing the campaign guys like i'm not going to uh just abandon mechanics of the gameplay just because we are coming towards the end you know i'm going to continue doing things uh like we would continue the campaign maybe a little bit more rushed with some of the troop movements and the battles and auto resolving more battles but that is just to give you guys better quality battles as we get towards uh the end but everything else we're going to continue just the same we have plenty of armies retraining we've got this army in here we've got the thessalians over here as well we've got this army in here, retraining of Pyrrhus the Conqueror. It needs some Thuriophoroi, honestly, would be the option here. So let's pop in a Thuriophoroi there. Um, yeah, this army has just retrained of Archilochus, who is 5 command already and only 23. Fantastic. We've got this little raiding army here. We've got another army going back to Bylazora. Uh, by Lazora. Yeah, where is that army? It's all the way up there. It's not got much movement points, unfortunately, in winter. So hopefully it'll get a few more. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of armies in retraining. But we do have a big battle to do, guys. Our first proper battle against the Syracusans. Against Captain Anaxagoras over here. Can't do a night battle. So we are going to have to fight both of these armies. As armies go, though... This is pretty damaged. Very damaged, in fact. And Anaxagoras is pretty standard. Just 304 Roy and some Thoracitae and some Peloponnesian Hoplites with Greek Slingers. No cavalry whatsoever in that army. And in this army, not much cavalry either. The Syracusan cavalry is good, but they are not going to be able to stand up to the Thessalians. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a cavalry field day. But um, let's find out, guys. Let's get into the battle. Yes. We are facing battle and we will not stop until our dead foes fill the field. Glorious. I think this army is what I would call a meat grinder army. Look at it. It's just pure phalangites. Couple of Thereophori. One Athamanium Peltast and then just cavalry it is an absolute meat grinder of an army so we're going to aim to destroy this army before the secondary army even gets involved in the fight so we are going to rush forward uh how far forward we can get though i, I don't know probably about there and then we're going to have to just march forward with the men 
because, of course, they will have lots of javelins to throw at us. Remember, the amount of Thurio Foroi they have in this army is kind of insane. So we're going to keep coming. Let's go. We've got a very nice line here. Going to angle slightly outwards just so uh, we can, of course, react if we need to to that one. So for that purpose, we're going to leave that Thurio Foroi on the flank there. We're going to use this open flank here to uh, deal with the enemy for now. Are these guys on fire at will? They are. Fantastic. Are you? Yes, you are. Glorious. Well, looks like they're going to, you know, oblige us and get into a big squidgy square <laughs> of men. So they've not hardly even fired any arrow, uh, any javelin so far. So uh, let's keep coming, guys. Let's keep coming. We should be able to, uh, to get a very nice line off on them with a very fat formation of phalangites here. There we go. I think we halt now. I think we halt. We are engaged in battle now. Get your phalanx down. That is one of the most annoying things I find about phalangites is that they don't march in phalangite unless they're absolutely square on. Like, I wish they would actually march in phalanx formation so that they didn't have to do this and let them get really close. Um, but what do we have here? These Cicel Thurio 4 I don't enjoy being... Um, being flanked so let's uh, let's engage them here like i say we're just going to leave these guys on guard mode for now i'm going to also turn you that way and you that way just in case just in case so hopefully we can engage these boys if not we will just give them a charge because fuck them fuck these fucking idiots let's fucking kill them come on boys let's go ah oh, like just engage my men bro just engage my men instantly broken that's what you get. That's what you get. That is what you deserve and what you get. Kill them. Come on. Come on, men. We've hardly lost any men here, but it looks like we're going to have to go for oh, another charge. So let's disengage. Let's disengage. It's never a good idea charging them like that, but, you know, we managed to break them, so I'm not too bothered. Well, let's fuck them off. Honestly, they're just pissing me off. Like, why are they doing this? Just engage, bro. Just engage. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Uh, but yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Let's uh, let's come here. Let's engage them with the Thurio Four. Right there, they go. They are getting engaged now. Who is dying so much? You turned the wrong fucking way. Jesus Christ, man. I am looking forward to using the Illyrian rosters, guys. You'll be pleased to know. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know. Let's kill their general now. Let's rally the men so he doesn't die. Let's go for it. This should be a good charge as long as these guys don't get too much in the way. Oh, my God. That was quite a good charge on that side. So, there we go. Absolutely shredded them. And let's come back. Let's come back. Our troops, our cavalry is just taking too much damage because they're protecting their flanks too much. Well, not too much. They're protecting it well. So, fair enough to them. But, yeah, it's, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? Um... Right then, let's just kill all these stupid little Greek slingers and stuff. Just so they're out of the way. There we go. Kill them. Kill them all, man. Kill them all. Run them down. Run them down, my friends. Run them down. Let's go. Come on, are you gonna you gonna you gonna die or what? There we go. Good, good. Now straight in the back of these boys should be an easy route. Rally the men again. Rally the men. Should be an easy route. Hopefully we can get a chain route off here. There we go. Uh, that was the worst charge. What was that? That was goddamn awful. That was an awful charge. Awful charge. Get out of there. What was that? You just jogged into them. That's never a good thing to do, my friends. <laughs> when you charge, you should charge. That would be good. Well done, troops. Well done. Right, let's go. Come on. This should be a proper charge this time. They've just thrown javelins as well, so they should be nice and vulnerable. What is that? You've not killed anyone. Men, what is that? That is fucking terrible. You idiots. Jeez, man. That was awful. What is this cavalry doing? Have they suddenly forgotten how to charge? God damn it, bro. God damn it. Now they're tired because they don't know how to charge. They should have broken those guys instantly on that charge. 
if they'd have charged properly. This is going to be a shit charge because they're only like one meter away. But actually, it was better. So apparently, leaving them to have more room to actually charge. The there we go. We killed their general. That should break these guys now instantly. Come on. How are you not broken? Get out then. Get out. What am I doing, bro? What is this? Like, what is this? This is awful. This is awful. What is going on? I know we were on very hard, but what is going on with these fucking cavalry? Like, they are just being shit. <laughs> this is some of the best cavalry units in the game, bro. Well, kill this fucking idiot. Oh my god. Look at them just dying. Just fucking dying. Great. Well, let's uh, let's set up properly then. There we go. We've broken someone at least. Wow. We should be able to break these guys, surely. You guys come in here, engage them. You guys engage them. Okay, like, this is probably, like, the cavalry is just, just being awful here. Like, we should be winning this by such a long way. I guess these guys have better morale than I thought, but when we... Okay, that's one of their generals. There we go. Instantly routed them. Better charges, guys. Better. Better. That's better effort from you guys. Better effort, okay? <laughs> right. These boys, let's turn them. You guys fight. Oh, God. Who... Well, it was clearly gonna... It clearly couldn't have ended this campaign without a salty episode, could we, guys? <laughs> so, there we go. We've run down a few men. Uh, we've killed both generals now, so they should be not too happy. So there we go. They are starting to all route now. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to get blocked on that charge. What is over here? Just, just, oh God, just really annoying troops. Right, now let's go for this charge. This should be better. Let's rally so we don't die. Because I did think that that was going to be our death before. And our troops are just, just... Just just dying, bro. God, kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Okay, instantly routed. Good. See if we can carry that route on with the Syracuse and Hoplites. Okay. Yeah, we've broken two. Good, 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 good. Now out. I know they're very tired, but that's fine. These guys just chilling. Fine. What do we have left now? Just have like... Just uh, a few to sell Thurio right? And then everyone who's coming back from routing, which is pretty much everyone. Thought that might happen. Rally. Come on, this is a bit of a mess of a charge, to be fair. This is my fault. Okay, yeah, was that was awful. That was goddamn awful. Awful, 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 awful. Right, let's get through here. Let's let our guys re uh, rest for a second. Turn, 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 men, turn. You guys come up. There we go. Should be fighting them. You guys come up too. Right, Cav, you're just going to have to rest now for a second. You guys need to turn there. If anything, we should uh, get all three of these guys turned there. Go. Just get in position, man. Just get in position. What is that? That is... So, oh, my God. Oh, I'm going to be so happy when we don't need to use phalangites anymore. <laughs> They're just so, so finicky. Guys, move. Fucking move, bro. Right, there we go. Come on. Oh, God, now we're getting taking javelins to the back. Never good. Get into your phalanx formation. Get in your for phalanx formation. Oh, they're just something else, Phalangites, aren't they? They're just, like, they're so good, but also so awful at the same time. <laughs> oh, you're turning the wrong way. You're the wrong way. Now let's break this unit, then. So we didn't get a chance to rest. Luckily, though, we are facing most of these units now, which is good. Let's go kill these uh, Cicel Thurio Foroi. Should be able to break them. They're already wavering. Our cavalry is destroyed. Again, we're probably going to have to retrain this army straight after this, which is a nightmare. There we go. Finally broke those boys. All right, let's come around this way then, and let's see if we can uh, break some of this Thorakitai. Okay, this is just an absolute mess. 
You guys get off get off guard mode now and just attack who you can. Attack who you can. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, I think we're okay. Let's speed this up. We don't need to be going so slow. Like, look at that. That was awful. Like, it killed no one. How did you kill no one? You are literally one of the best units in the game, bro. One of the best units in the game. Can't kill anyone on the charge. God damn it, bro. Ah, uh, salty, 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 huh? Salty. And there we go. All of our lines have now routed. Fantastic. Let's get out of here. Everyone's routing now. Just the general left. Just the general. Please route, my friend. Please route. <laughs> oh, dear. How did that even... I don't even know how that happened. I mean... I think the main thing is our cavalry was just so unimpactful there. Like, did nothing. Like, charging straight in the back of units and killing about five, ten men. Which is just not very much like them normally. I mean, we inflicted 1,500 casualties. Let's have a look at some of the stats. This is really, really confusing. Because, like, the Phalangites should be killing more than they are losing. Like, look at that. Some of them did awful. I mean, the Thessalian cavalry did save the day, really, there. Even though they didn't do very well. But, yeah. Just weird. Honestly, just really fucking weird. Well, not a good start to the episode. Um, but, like I say... It wouldn't be a, uh, a campaign ender. Well, it's not. It's a penultimate episode. But it wouldn't be uh, an episode of the uh, of the campaign. We've not had a salty one for a while because everything's been going well. So, um, yeah, it's time for a salty one, shall we say, guys. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's uh, end the turn. Let's see what happens. Maybe the Seleucids will attack. But uh, maybe not. I guess we shall find out. And they did attack. So, this secondary army is a bit of a mess again. This one does have elephants, but... Yeah, I'm not too worried about the elephants, because in cities, they're not amazing. I'm mostly worried about those crisis speeders, because remember last time, the crisis speeders were unreal at defeating our men. And we have so few men left here now. So, this is going to be very interesting, guys. If we win this, though, we... You know, Ankishis will be a legend of defense. Let's be honest. Let's see, guys. Now, unfortunately, they are coming from different directions. So we've got that way and that way. So it is likely we're going to have to protect both of these sides. I mean, this one is probably still going to be the most important. So we are going to flesh out this area quite a bit. Because it is a bigger area as well. So we've got to remember that. Uh, let's go with that. You guys try and, you know, overlap a little bit. There we go. So how many is that of the Phalangites? Four. Let's get 13 men in there too. This line is just going to have to hold. Like, that's just going to have to happen. Uh, and then over this side, again, we're probably just going to go, like, that. And then I'm going to get one guy there so we've got some spare basically just to stop them coming through if we can get like a nice line there that'd be good so that is those two and then i'm wondering about these boys um we can probably hold the line with those two we may have to you know move maneuver one out also we're going to keep a thurio foroy there also going to heavily weight this side with the athamanians so let's do that. Uh, you guys can group up. And then these boys can kind of react to whatever's happening. Maybe come behind here. Uh, and that's that's it, really. We'll group you guys together. And then apart from the uh, 304, right, we're going to have the cavalry in the back still. If anyone comes around the back, that's what we're going to do. So let's see what happens. Let's hope that they also get shot to pieces by the towers. But let's see, guys. So the AI has been a little bit dumb, I've got to say, which is good for us. Um, they sent half their army this way, who were getting shot at by the towers, um, to try and get through this gate. Or they're going to send them the whole way around the map. I don't know. This one was a bit cleverer. They uh, just opened the gates and then have just come straight through. So it looks like they're going to split both the armies either side. Like I say, the main thing is these uh, these crisis speeders 
they're going to be the main difference for them. So we've got to uh, got to be wary of them. In fact, it looks more like this army was bigger. So maybe we should pull off one of these units. Potentially this one. And... Yeah, where, wherever their phalangites are going, we need to have a double line so that we can hold them a bit better. So we're going to send this 35 over here across this way. And that does leave us pretty exposed on this side. But there isn't that many troops coming this way. It's And they're all pretty trash. Although they're, they are sending their crisis speeders this way now. So, yeah, it's going to be a very, very tight affair, I've got to say, I think. So we just need to make sure that we are in the best position possible from the start of it. Well, here they come, guys. There are a lot of troops coming through this way now. And, well, just every way, honestly. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> if we can win this, this will be a glorious victory. Although it is likely that we are going to get sieged down straight away again <laughs> by the enemy. So, yeah. I don't know <laughs> what we can do here. we just got to hope that the phalanx is hold. <laughs> if anything, it looks like this way is going to be the lightest of defenses. So we're going to move our missile troops around here. Hopefully fire into the enemy. I'm going to bring you there. In fact, what I might do is bring you right behind these, these guys over here. Just to make sure that we can uh, hold that area. And I think, you know, the Greek slingers charging in and the mercenary Asian cavalry is really not going to be a worry. So if we can get our cavalry then through this way and into the back of this monster horde over here, I think we're going to be in a lot better situation. So what I am also going to try to do is to push this unit slightly forward, same as these 13 men. If they will do it nicely, that would be good. Just to help out with this unit, especially against, say, the Crisis Speeders when they get involved in the action. The main thing, though, as long as their uh, their crisis speeders don't bring their phalanx down, we should be okay. So we just have to hold and hope that they don't bring their phalanx down. But uh, let's see, guys. And here come the elephants, my friends. Here come the elephants. So they have come through the uh, all the way around the city. So they are exhausted now, hoping that this tower can fire at them somewhat. And maybe kill one? But <laughs> whether that's going to happen or not, I don't know. Maybe we can make them go mad. This side is definitely the lightest in terms of defense. So, and over here we're doing very well. This side, again, is a bit of an issue. But you can see the phalanx still holding for now. How long it will hold, though, I have no idea. Um, but that is, that is all there is there. That is all there is that they are sending. Same around this way. It's pretty much everyone is inside the city now, apart from the two generals. So, yeah, we've got to uh, we've got to just be wary of that. And this side, yes, is definitely the weakest. No, that side's okay. It's this side here. As long as we can keep the phalanx formation going, which it looks like they are doing, we should be okay. Maybe once this Pisidian javelin men are moved as well, we can maybe move this phalangite around this flank to hit those crisis speeders because they are also in phalanx and that is going to cause us a world of hurt in general but uh, unfortunately we can't send the uh, send the cavalry round this way at the moment because the elephants are there so that is a bit of a nightmare <laughs> the generals are now coming into the city so that is good for us this general again is just that mercenary asian light spearman so what I am thinking of doing is sending maybe a good detachment of these boys around the flanks to charge the enemy. Because at the back here, a lot of this is just like missile troops. So it's not going to be too bad to deal with. Also, they haven't taken many of the walls. So I'm thinking we go left side first, hopefully break those boys. And then now, as you can see, we've tried to box in this, this unit. Whether we can or not, though, is a different question. We've pretty much lost uh, most of our phalangites over this side. So the crisis speeders are going to be able to push through quite heavily. So we are going to have to get involved in that somehow. Whether that's pulling off more phalangites from this front, I don't know. But these guys are going to be going and trying to do a lot of damage. 
for now. And this flank is also starting to fail, so we're going to have to get the Athamanians in there. Here come the elephants too, guys. Whether we can defeat the elephants... Okay, we've killed one. Looks like we're killing them pretty easily with the Phalangites. That's pretty darn good. I'm, I would not have uh, expected that. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, go on, Phalangites. Absolutely savaging them. Once, once we've got rid of these elephants, if we do get rid of them, we'll be able to pull them off over here because this is a bit of a mess. As you can see, we're going to have to charge these guys. Over here, I think we're doing okay. Like, not too bad. We're, we're not quite winning. But we're doing okay. Good charge in there, guys, just to hold them back for a second. Let's get the men back out, though. There goes the elephants. Right, then. This is, uh, this is key. We need these guys over here ASAP. And we're going to send these boys around this way again to charge these boys in the back. So let's see whether we can do that. I don't know. The crisis speeders, as you can see, are just running that way. Uh, so yeah, bit of a nightmare. Bit of a nightmare over here. But we just need to hold them for a second before we can charge them. And that'll be fine. I think we're okay over here. I th well, not okay, but we're, we're not doing terribly. If we can kill the generals, remember guys, this is a massive boon for us. So uh, let's get those phalanx down. Then let's also charge that Chalka Speeders in the back. Now, these guys, once they're set up, will go for a filthy charge on the Silesian Pirates. There we go. We should have broken that unit. We should have absolutely destroyed that unit. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's get out. Elephants are now running through the town square. <laughs> okay, we broke a couple of units there. Go, go, go. Guys, go, go, go. Get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Right. You are not in a great position, my friends. But if you can do a charge, that would be good. <laughs> Might even be worth getting into wedge formation at some point. See if we can break through uh, these routing troops to try and route some more. Good, good, good. Fantastic, fantastic. Straight into the mer uh, Mercenary Asian Light Spearman. It is mainly just the Crisis Speed as we are worried about. But oh well, uh, a lot of our units over here now have broken. Likely because probably the Elephant is nearby even though it is routing. And again, their crisis speeders are proving to be difficult. So let's see if we can uh, force from the back. There we go. Let's break their general. That'd be awesome. And uh, yeah, mainly those Chalka speeders are the issue here. So, oh, this is this is uh, this is horrible. This is horrible. Hmm. We are cutting them down quite quickly. I think the problem is if I go back for a charge now as well. There's not going to be much left. Um, get there. Yeah, there's not much left on this side either. But looks like we have broken them pretty much on this side. Good. All that's left now is the uh, Chalka Speeders. Everyone can break those Chalka Speeders. That would be awesome. Right. Good. Good. Right. What do we have infantry-wise here? Not much. Not much, my friends. But it might be enough. It might be enough. I know you're exhausted, boys. I know you're exhausted. But get across there. We're also going to get our cavalry here to charge them in the flank. It's the problem is this crisis speeders. But we need to kill that general. He's, he is alone, Alexander, once again. He cannot get away with his great victory that he supposedly had last time. So we need to get our troops in order over here. We still have loads of cavalry. That is the main thing. We can maybe break that crisis speeders. Again, if we break some of the other units. So I'm thinking maybe going into the trying to charge the Greek Slingers. Whether we can or not is a different question. But uh, yeah, we can at least try. Get your phalanx down. Quick. Now kill that general. Kill Alexander. He For revenge, my friends. For revenge. Oh my god, we just run through. How do these guys charge? Well, I know it is a Greek, uh, a Greek Slinger. But god damn, that was a good charge. We absolutely destroyed these boys. Come on. Rally the men. Rally the men. And now I think we're going to have to come through this way. That might break the Greek Slingers because we're going to run through them again. Come on. Kill goddamn Alexander for God's sake. Kill him. Kill him. You're all we have left, boys. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's, our, that's, that's all we've got left. Now let's charge these uh, Greek Slingers. They should break now. Oh, Anchises, you absolute monster. You absolute monster, Anchises. 
You are truly a great general. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's uh, get here. Get here. Go. Get here so we can charge these guys in the side and back. You're facing the wrong way. Fucking hell, Phalangites. You're facing the wrong way. <laughs> God damn it, bro. God damn it. Right. Let's get here. We should have a nice volley. There, let's go into there, actually. While we can. And then we've probably only got one unit left to break, which will be those boys. Okay, some of these guys have come back from routing over this side. Bit of a nightmare. But oh well. Let's go and kill their carrions. While we can. You guys are the last two infantry standing apart from these boys here. One and three men. One and three men. Wow. Now let's kill the Greek slingers. I can't believe you've come back from routing. You fools. You fools. You really want to face Anchises' wrath. He's sick of it now. <laughs> he is sick of it. Right. Let's get there. Let's get there. And uh, let's get the, uh, get the guys here again. See if we can break this crisis speed edge before they are in phalanx mode. Just get there. In fact, just get there like that. No, they're getting back into phalanx now, unfortunately. Let's try and break the Thurio Foroi then. And then all we've got left is one unit to break. One unit, my friends. One unit. Let's go for the charge. Let's see what the crisis speed edge do here. Looks like they're going for the flank over anything. Should break them, surely. Okay, come on. Come on. We've got to kill them. Come on, men. Break them. How are they shaking again? They got absolutely de devastated on that charge. Right. Run away. <laughs> run away. Run away. Run away. Once again. Run away, guys. Quick. 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 Get there. Go, 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 go. Go. The Thurio Furoy are happy again somehow. I have no idea how. But they are. Look at the devastation, my friends. Look at the devastation. All the elephants dead down here, too. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Right. Hopefully, this will be a good charge. Rally so you don't die, General. There he is. He's right at the back. Good. Good, good, good. Charge, man. Charge is one single bannerman that's left is there. Come on. Oh, that is a great charge. That is a great charge. How are we getting better charges inside a city? <laughs> than we were getting on the battlefield last battle. Come on. Come on. All right, let's... Yes! Oh, my God. Well, what's left? I mean, they've got some units that are, that are coming back from routing, I assume. How many men are left for them? 4%. Well, let's not pursue anyone else. Let's just break this last unit. And that should be a glorious victory. Oh my god, Anchises, you are the hero of the campaign at this point. Wow, what a man. <laughs> oh my god, brutal, brutal, brutal victory once again. We have 200 soldiers remaining. The brave men of Anchises, look at that. Look at that, some of the casualties they did, some of these phalangites. 102, 189. That is unbelievable. Wow, what a victory, my friends. <laughs> Let's see us get um, completely sieged down once again. <laughs> and as expected, Anchises is going to have to face the Seleucids once again. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Well, guys, I think we may have bitten off a little bit more than we could chew with the uh, Syracusans here. Ooh, it's not ideal, is it? <laughs> <laughs> this army as well. Although this army is, you know, not healthy, it's but it's okay. Where is that other navy? Okay, they're going there. They can't move much further, so we go here. In fact, let's pick them up a little bit earlier so they get a bit more movement. Drop them off here. Fenike is not going to cut it for this army because it's got Thessalians, so let's go back that way. Right. Do we have an army to send to Nossos? Oh, these guys can't retrain. Flipping hell. I did not realize that. Oh, dear. That's a bit annoying. I think we just leave Nossos for now. God damn it. Don't worry about them, my friends. Don't worry about them. Yeah, I think we leave Nossos for now. This army, though, we could actually get an army together. 
this is the Sal. Yeah, we could actually get an army. Pyros. So Pyros was the one going for Nosos, wasn't he? So yeah, let's 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 uh let's send Pyros north. Or we could send him back across here. Yeah, not 100% sure, but there's a lot of armies across there, isn't there? God damn it. A lot of armies. Surprised they siege down Brundisium. Where's the border of Brundisium here? Okay, Brundisium. Yeah. Does Brundisium border anyone? I don't know. Gonna have to rely on Great Alexander here to, uh, to pull something out of the bag, let's say. Let's also exterminate Metapontum. I know they're Greek, but, uh... Yeah, don't care at this point. <laughs> Let's go for the Shrine to Dionysus. And we are just losing troops after troops here. So let's uh, pop you in there. Oh, let's see if we can get gold on one of the ones with more experience. Okay, we did. So let's leave behind you. Uh, we're going to have to try and fight these armies one by one. What is this army? Okay, that army doesn't look so amazing, but neither does this, so... <laughs> Let's come out of there. Actually, happy? Good. Did we have some coming of age? We did. Ipazion over here. Let's have a look. He is green. Hmm, he's got weakling's countenance, so maybe not the best one for uh, anything else. We've got two people come of age over... Oh, do we... Well, you can go and manage Athens, because Athens doesn't currently have a guy managing it. Helenos, let's have a look at you. You are undecided. You're green, well-supplied, flexible, and a strict governor. So I think you can, uh, you know, pick up the next army. Uh, or even go up north for the next one. Right, we are, I mean, seems stupid, but let's just pop beside the settlement here we might get attacked by the seleucids but if we do we can try to defend we've also got another pyros in here so i think you can go you're bloody good right let's get you north to deal with this army once it's been retrained let's retrain everyone we can unfortunately we can't combine any troops here uh, and we'll send down some of these Thracian boys. Let's send some of the Romphi Foroi. So we've just got a bit more of a mix of units in there. Which will be fine. Won't be a problem. Uh, what is in this place? Oh, that should be really easy. 60 men. No problem at all. Let's uh, exterminate here too. Destroy this. Problem being now, we need to leave... Oh, we've got a 49 unit there. That's fine. I don't care about attacking that. That's good. What is this? Oh my god, they've got some royal warriors. Wow. These guys are beasts. So we're going to struggle fighting them. We are armor piercing though. So that might be quite good. Apparently I can't get off this. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to have to... I can't even escape. What's going on here? Oh, it's because we were sieging down. Not supposed to do that. So yeah, that was my mistake there, guys. I think if you um, besiege a city... So we've got to do what we did last time. Let's uh, make sure we do that. We even lost less this time, so maybe that's good. Um, but if you besiege a city and have a look at the troops in the city, I think there's uh, some glitch with the, uh, the engine. It's not to do with the mod. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, a little bit weird, but it's okay. Let's move on to Suthopolis. So what I was trying to look at was the other army here. Which tried to ambush us, but didn't manage to. Apparently we've got really slow movement now. Let's do this again. Let's uh, auto-resolve that. 36, so even less this time as well. Let's also exterminate Metapontum. No problem. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice settlement, Metapontum. And the main thing is here is we are playing chicken with the AI in terms of the borders. Because we don't have the military power to beat any of these guys <laughs> as of yet. Um, so, yeah, we are just playing a bit of chicken with them. Let's get the Temple of Dionysus in there. And again, let's do that. And this time it didn't actually make a gold 
gold one, so that's interesting, but okay. It's probably from the last battle. I'm going to pop you out. I'm going to go down to low. That's fine. Got to get you away. So let's get the ship there. You on there. You need to go through all the way to one of these settlements. The other ships, like I say, you can come up that way. You guys go there. Let's pop back into there. Good. Right. Okay. So we also got a few people come of age, didn't we? We had two in here. So Helenos. No, we're going to send Paternos round to Athens. And we're going to send Helenos this way. Then was there another one somewhere else? I mean, you, Ipazion, you can be a general too. And then, yes, we've got to remember that these guys can't be retrained here. <laughs> so pop in there. But we were getting Pyrrhus an army, weren't we? So let's put Pyrrhus's army back together. So that should be... Oh, you need to go in there as well. Make sure we can retrain those. Retrain the 304i2. So Pyrrhus, you've got your cavalry and stuff. So let's do that. Now you can pop back in there, my friend. And then let's get your... Yeah, there's not many of them. That's the problem. Mm, there's two here. Would be nice to get some elephants. Maybe we'll wait one turn and we can get some elephants. We'll also have a lot more choice. Oh, Ipazion, you go there. You guys are going to stand here, like we said before. Huh. You are coming back to Bylazora for your retraining. Let's make sure we are training still everywhere. Let's go with Thracian Noble Cavalry. Let's go more Thracian Noble Cavalry. In Pella, let's train some Ambrakiotes. Let's make sure. We oh, we are training down here. Okay. Good. Training. Training. Fantastic. Um... And Fenike and Ambrakia. Yeah, and Fenike and Ambrakia need to train. What do we need for this army? I mean, Thuriophoro would be a good option. And also, elephants in there. Good. Thermon. Let's train one more. So you've got a garrison for now. Fantastic. Well then. Also, we can train across here and we have been doing. Good. So when that army, the next army is ready to go, this one, we shall send them back to Nosos. Pyrrhus' army, though, what do we want to do with it? Hmm. I mean, we do need more in the north, but we also need more against Syracuse. Although, this army... Okay, is this army ready to go? Wait, no Athamanians. Apparently, we can't retrain the Athamanians here. Well, Alexarchos, looks like you are going to be shipped back across. Okay, come on, Alexarchos. Get out of there. Uh, let's might as well stick another one of these units in there for now while we can. Pop you on there. Uh, where do we want to go with you? Well, we're just going to have to drop you off there, I think. You come forward. Good. You guys back to Fenike. Good. Fantastic. Well, I think we're in a pretty good spot there. Was there any battles to do, though, on this turn? I mean, I don't want to do that one. There was Alexander's one. So let's do our building. I think first time again on this turn. Let's go from the bottom again to the ones that are less built up. Like a Wescus over here. Let's try and keep them happy. Madu Tenetabalolo. Well, let's leave that because it's under siege. You've got so many settlements under siege up here in the north. By just tiny little like <laughs> Adrissian troops. <laughs> so yeah. A little bit annoying but it's, it's okay. Besser Let's get that. Let's also build in some more roads, some dockyards. Cesarethos. Let's build that. Apparently, you can upgrade goods. Yeah, look how many settlements are just under siege by the goddamn Odrysians. It's a lot. <laughs> just popping all of these. These are like really small settlements, so there's a lot of cheap buildings to build, which is fantastic. Athens, on the other hand, I think is our richest settlement, making seven. 1,300 a turn, which is actually pretty insane. So let's build some highways. Orchomenos is in there. Corinth, let's build some highways too. Not much else to build apart from highways in a lot of these places. So we're going to keep on doing that. We might build a walls every now and then just because it looks cool on the map at this point in the campaign. Um, 
Aegean, yeah, nothing to build there. Let's build that in. Let's build some grain imports. This one's got loads of stuff. Let's actually build a barracks there, because we can actually train there. Let's build that. And that is everything. So let's go to Alexander. Now we've got to choose what we want to do. Can Alexander fight at night? Let's see. Is he a night fighter? Hmm. Tactical experts. Epiro. Devoted. He is a night fighter. Now, it's whether these guys are night fighters. Well, that's just a captain, so we could try and take that army out. I think, though, the main thing would be to take out the army besieging. How much movement do we have? So, we could maybe get to that and then siege down Canusium. And would that then stop the border here? I think the border counts as being part of this area, so it would be Potentia. Hmm... What about you guys? Have you guys got siege equipment? No. So, yeah, let's go after Captain Thessalos and uh, my Sithos. Again, we're going to have to be careful here because remember what happened last time. Luckily, though, this time what's coming in is not very big, so they can't flank us completely. But um, let's see whether we can do this. Let's see if the Zistaphoroi can do a bit of a better job than was done by the Thessalians last time we fought the Syracusans. So let's go. Well, here we go, guys. As the rain comes down, a relatively fat formation once again. But we are just going to get into a nice, nice line. And then maybe try and walk forward again. It's... Uh, we shouldn't try and do too much with that. Go a bit further forward would be better. So that they can walk in phalanx formation. There we go. Let's try and hold them. They are bringing those troops around the side. So, let's see if we can beat that Prodromoy back. There we go. Speed this up. Let's see if they are going to actually engage us, rather than just sitting back like they normally do. Looks like they are just going to sit back. Well, no problem with that. Let's, uh... Let's not quite thin the line out too much. In fact, let's go like that, more like. There we go. And let's get engaged in the fight. Bring the cavalry around this side. Hopefully, we can engage them properly this time. There we go. Again, bit of an annoyance with the lines being, like, split like that. But it should be okay for us. What do we have? Prodromoy over here. You guys get there so you can fire at the Prodromoy. And again, I think I've moved my men too early. So, uh, let's move them back this time. We don't want to mess around too much. I'm going to send those boys that way. I don't know what they're doing. Like, why are they just running around like headless chickens? Like, fuck it. Oh, come on, my God, guys. Come on, move. Like, don't just stand there. Fucking move. All right, let's attack this Prodromoy. I think we can take it. Come on. We touch it. Yes, good. We're going to be able to take it then. That is good. Fantastic. We're going to stay on this side for now. Whoop. There we go. Should be able to break this Prodromoy pretty darn well, especially with our General's bodyguards who are insane now. Insane. Poor Syracuse and Hoplites. Come on. Kill the general. Kill the general. I don't mind taking a little bit of damage from the Syracuse and Hoplites. Right. Let's just spread out there. You guys go and attack them. Come on. Kill this goddamn general. There we go. Fantastic. Now let's uh, pop out. There we go. Let's pop away. There we go. Prodromoy has broken once again. Let's get you guys there. What are we looking at with the Athamanians here? Let's try and protect the flank. Good. Again, they just are, are just not really doing much. So, if they're going to do that, I don't mind. Oh, yeah. Syracuse and Hoplites. I forgot. They can actually... Um, they can actually fire Javis. Completely forgot about that. Let's charge them, though. And then we'll charge whatever is left of this blob. No, nope, they don't want that. Let's just get away. Let's just get away. I think it's bugging the AI out. Like, look at them. They're chasing after the cavalry. They love doing that. So let's get far, far enough away from them that we can't bug them out like that. So that they will actually engage. Hmm. Again, not really uh, Not really doing fantastic stuff, are they? <laughs> oh, come on. So you look at this unit, like... Does it really think it's going to kill all my cavalry by itself? Oh, fuck off, Prodromoy. 
You are the most annoying unit. Right, let's keep moving forward, though. Like, let's see if this charge is any good. Should be pretty good, especially with the generals. Absolutely destroyed them. Nice. Nice. Absolutely ruining them at this point. Come on, boys. Okay, not enough to break them, though. Oh, what is this? Fucking Prodromoy. Go away. <laughs> Prodromoy is actually engaging now. Good. Right, hopefully they get this Cicel Thurio Foroy into the action. You guys chase them. There, they have got that Cicel Thurio Foroy in the action. Let's get them all attacking. Go on, boys. Right, let's kill this Yuzonoi as well. And then we can probably charge these guys one by one. So this is a lot better. It's a lot calmer, but it is annoying. <laughs> oh, I am looking forward to... Um... Oh, go away, Greek Slingers. Just fuck off, honestly. Right, let's charge this unit. In fact, let's get three of you to charge them. Three of you to charge them. And we'll uh, rally the men. This should be a decent charge. So let's see. There we go. Was a good charge to start with anyway. There we go. Broken them. See if we can break this unit now. See if we can break them. They're still eager. I don't know what they're doing. Hopefully we can kill them quite quickly. Oh, look at all those negative morale things. And they're still steady. Still steady. Still. Come on. How are they steady, bro? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, anyway, that's fine. That is fine. Um, well, we might as well use you. So come up. Try and put pressure. Oh, here we go. Finally. Fight some Cicel Pelter 4, right? That'll be good. Right, let's attack them now. This should be a much better charge. Much better charge. Huh, I'm just taking everything kind of warily and cautiously because of how bad we have performed in the last few battles. So, uh, yeah. So excuse my uh, cautiousness, I guess. Right then. One of you in there. 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 Two of you into there. Come on, generals. Let's go. Generals are absolute beasts now. So this should be a pretty nice charge. There we go. Into the back of them. Killing no one. Great. Fantastic. Let's catch all of these guys unawares. Well, not unawares. Awares, shall we say. <laughs> Come on. Kill these fuckers. Come on. Kill them all. Kill them all. Right, General. Into the Syracuse and Hoplites this time. Hopefully, it's just these, like, this little line. It's breaking the charge before we can actually charge, which is quite annoying. Right, guys. Into there. Away from this Cicel 304, right? chase after them and it looks like our other Athamanians over here have managed to get the Greek slingers so that is good that is very good indeed right all of you fight them okay we've broken all of these boys good so we've got one unit left to break let's go guys let's go into the Cicel 304 right? and then we can chase them down afterwards let's see what happens here okay that was a really good charge there we go finally finally a fantastic charge and then let's chase down who we can then. Let's chase down who we can. Well, finally, a decent victory once again, guys. After a couple of terrible, terrible battles. So, very nice. General's doing absolute bits. Well done, guys. Fantastic. Well, there we go. I think we will have enough. Did we get to... No, we got enemy army routes. Well, we got a trait increase to great commander. Fantastic. Well, Alexander the Orator now. Hasn't he gone through a lot of different... Um, different things. I think what we'll do, we'll siege down with Alexander to make sure we've got the movement points. Then we'll join the army up, because otherwise I don't think it would siege it down. These guys don't have any uh, siege equipment yet. So once we've taken this, I believe they won't want to take this, because it shouldn't be bordering there. But I guess we shall find out, guys. So I think we're going to end it there. It sets us up for a very nice finale. Can we beat these guys? Can we finally get an elephant on the battlefield? <laughs> Can we stop the Syracusan waves of troops with our new armies that have come back across? Setting it up very nicely for a final episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. And I'll see you all again 
on the next video.